Hello and welcome to Minutes with Masterson. I'm your overlord, I mean host, Jay Masterson, and with me today is Garlic Jr. <laughs> I'm gonna push you into the dead zone. Later. This is Chuck Huber, amazing voice actor and actual actor. You'll know him from such roles as Star Trek Continues, Android 17, Emperor Pilaf, Garlic Jr. Of course. The guy who got insta-killed by Popo. <laughs> So, Chuck, all right, the obvious questions first, which you answer at basically every panel. What got you into voice acting? Uh, I was an actor, and a buddy of mine came into rehearsals, and he was like, hey, you should go audition for this Dragon Balls thing. And I was the like... The Dragon's what now? The Dragon's Balls. Yeah, I was like, that's, 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 okay, I'll do that. And then I auditioned for it, and I've been doing it ever since. All right. And other obvious question, and probably a difficult one, what was your favorite voice role? Uh, probably my favorite is Hiei from Yu Yu Hakusho because I'd never done a convention really before Hiei. So he's the first time I ever like met fans and signed autographs and did panels. So Hiei's the one that introduced me to all of this. No one wants my autograph. You see this line, Chuck? <laughs> That's right. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was pretty funny yesterday, actually. <laughs> Very memorable. All right. So, a lot of obvious questions. And uh, one of them, what would, so EA was your favorite character. Would it be safe to say Yu Yu Hakusho was your favorite show to work on? Uh, I don't know. I had a lot of really fun, like working on Hitalia is really fun. Uh, I got to write the first couple of seasons with Jimmy Markey. I still uh, don't understand that show. I know, it's weird. Uh, Sergeant Frog was also awesome to work on. Um, Shin Chan was probably the most fun to work on. We did a lot of, you know, improvising and sort of making up jokes as we were going along, and it was a really funny show. All right. So Sergeant Frog, I actually have to check out because I've never seen it. Clicky <laughs> poo. This is what I have to deal with today, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, who is your favorite person you've worked with? Favorite person I've worked with is probably everybody. I don't know. Todd and Vic and I all work on Star Trek Continues together, and, and we get along really well. So that's always a lot of fun. But I usually enjoy the after parties. <laughs> We we go to the Applebee's, you know, and, and get a beer. That's about it. Just basic bro stuff. It's not really that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's good. Because yeah. somewhere out there, someone's going to recognize you guys. Nah, maybe. You know, we don't get recognized a lot out of, you know, out of convention world. Yeah. Uh, especially Mr. Miniata. He gets recognized everywhere. True. True story. Nice guy, though. Right, so, you've actually, before voice acting, you actually had a career in acting, stage performances. Yeah, I still do. I still do. Uh, I'm on uh, season two of American Crime on ABC, uh, which premieres January 6th. I got a movie coming out in February, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, working. I have a playwright friend in Chicago who's writing a one man show uh, for me. Bears. It's okay, you can hate the bears. <laughs> it's a one-man show on the life of Nikola Tesla, so that should be my next stage thing, because I'm excited to get back on the stage. The last time I saw anything about Nikola Tesla was in Epic Rap Battles of History, where oh, he went nice. against Thomas Edison. Nice, I haven't seen that. It, the show is really funny, and actually pretty entertaining. I'll have to check that out. So, and uh, if I remember correctly, you actually not too recently, but recently had a role on the web series Death Battle. You voiced Tony Stark. Yes. When fought yeah. Lex Luthor. Yeah, yeah. I got to fight Lex Luthor. I got to be Iron Man, which was awesome. Yeah. There was, they were like, do you want to do this? I was like, yeah, I'll do that. I don't know, that. Lex. I'm the most capable, intelligent person on the planet. I'm not playing God all this time. I've been playing human. <laughs> and then Endo suit, and it was just over from there. Crashed it. Uh, Hulkbuster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you seen Age of Ultron at all? Yes. That suit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty all impressive. Right. All right, so what was some of your, uh, with the live action stuff, the actual acting, what was some of your favorite roles from that? Uh, I did Petruchio in Taming of the Shrew. That's the, my last stage uh, work that I did, and that was really fun. I really enjoy Shakespeare. Yeah, Shakespeare's probably my favorite. Yeah. I handed this dude my Poro at his booth, and he just started holding up, doing some Shakespeare. Little Hamlet, little, alas, poor Yorick. 
No Macbeth though, because I don't need my pour over. <laughs> So, I asked you this question yesterday at your panel, but uh, a lot of people ask this one back and forth, or they just throw it around in fun talk with their friends. If you could switch roles with anyone, any of your friends, or just any other voice actor you haven't met yet from any show, who would you switch with? I would be Levi in uh, Attack on Titan, and Matthew Mercer, he could be he. <laughs> I might give up PA for Levi. No, I gotta keep PA. I wouldn't switch with anyone. I like everything. There's a lot of uh, old school fans who are older now and possibly just a little unstable. Especially with the EA fans. I don't want to say rabbit, but they're fans. There's some serious, serious Yu Yu Hakusho fans, that's for sure. It was a good show, though. Yes. I mean, well, also one of the old ones before they became what they are today. I am not an Attack on Titan fan. Oh, you're not? I always get a lot of dirty looks for that. That's okay. <laughs> you don't have to. I do remember uh, my favorite PA line was during the Dark Tournament when uh, <laughs> the sister. It's a crowd of people. Yeah. When uh, PA's sister showed up to watch the tournament. Right. And PA was warning everybody don't tell her I'm wrong. I'm talking to Yes. And uh, what was her name? The blue haired uh, Grim Reaper. She was just like, I'm a rabbit now. She's just a complete gossip. It's the worst to sit here. Oh man, I think that's it. <laughs> I think we gotta close it out. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to cut this short, so. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get to interview Charles Dunbar later today if I can find him when he's not busy and somewhere less noisy. But we'll see him next year for another Ichiban Con in 2017. Wow. Assuming Captain America Civil War doesn't ignite an actual civil war among fans everywhere. And the world ends from that. Have a good one. Thank you. All right, yeah. <laughs>